Jim Boskov is the kind of individual in a community who quietly goes about improving things and making things better, never looking for personal, you know, compliments or, you know, some kind of, of you know, public um, recognition for what he does, yet amazingly he has been involved in so many things that have helped make Greater Berks County a better place to live. I feel that he's an icon in this community because he cares deeply about Berks County and the city of Reading. He has a great deal of knowledge, experience, and he often is quietly working behind the scenes because um, recognition is just not important to him. Uh, Jim is undoubtedly a very skilled executive and obviously an accomplished servant leader. Uh, someone who never calls attention to himself but engages and brings out the best in everyone around him. Uh, but Jim is an even finer man with very strong values, a sense of social justice, community mindedness. He has an absolutely brilliant mind, um, but he's very approachable because he's so self-effacing and modest. And it, it, it's an interesting combination because I think often a person who's as smart as Jim would be kind of hard to talk to, but you can always talk to Jim. He always has great counsel. He's very pragmatic, but also very analytical. And what I see Jim doing is dedicating his life to repairing the world in this community and to finding injustices and correcting them. And that's really what drives Jim. Um, and I think that's what drives him, his corporate philanthropy as well, a sense that these resources have been given to him for a higher purpose. He feels that we should always give back in the communities that we trade in. Uh, but I think he's also committed to philanthropy, and I think that's part of the makeup of him and also a long tradition of the Bosca family in this community. Jim's a family person, first of all. I mean, people think of him first as the leader of Boscovs, but it's the leader of the Boscov family that's his most important role to him. I recall when I came to town, the way people talked about his late father with affection and deep respect for his integrity. That's how I think of Jim today, and I know many others do as well. I think we're very fortunate that we have an individual like Jim in our community. I would describe Jim as being a leader, uh, inclusive, and humble. Uh, energetic, empathetic. Jim is a hands-on leader, uh, very philanthropic, very entrepreneurial, uh, cares about his coworkers. Jim is brilliant, he's funny, He's a truly great human being and a real asset to our community. He asks the right questions, uh, both in business and in his charitable dealings. I think he's uh, uh, very sensitive to issues around him, and I think he's a very giving person. Uh, Jim is uh, very sharp, very bright, a humble and self-effacing, and very, very funny. Quiet self-effacing, very great sense of humor, and he, he's quick. He, he gets it right away. Um, he's amazing at how he can assess the situation. Jim, congratulations on receiving the Vision of Peace Award. That's a really wonderful reflection of your commitment to the community. Jim Boskov, congratulations. You are so special. Helen joins me in congratulating you on this well-deserved award. We're so happy to see you honored like this. At a time when many people see themselves uh, through the prism of a selfie, there are those who are selfless in helping others in their circumstances. Jim, congratulations, you've done a remarkable job. We're so proud of you. Uh, you think of others, you support them, and you do worthwhile things in the community. Hi Jim, obviously Judy Schwank here and so happy to be among those that are congratulating you on being this year's winner of the Vision for Peace Award from Safe Berks. I can't think of anybody who would deserve it more in our community right now. You may not think so, but I definitely do. And on behalf of a grateful community, thank you so much for what you do. Well, I'm personally very honored to receive this award and on behalf of everyone at Boscos, I'm very grateful for the recognition. You know, I was very lucky to have a good teacher both at home and at work, uh, to understand the reality, the pervasiveness, and the terror of domestic violence. So 
While I'm very, very pleased and honored, the real thanks goes to everybody at Safe Berks for what they do to make Berks County, the Reading area, a much safer and better place for all of us to live.